Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm John. What's going on, everybody? I'm Steve. Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power. Yep. I'm excited for this one. Yeah. I've always known you to love Lord of the Rings. Yes, it's my favorite. One of my favorite, like... The movies are, like, arguably up there with Star Wars as my favorite, like, movie trilogy. It's like that and Star Wars are my two favorites, you know? Yeah. I have... I've seen all the movies, but... I've only seen them like once or twice, and it's been a while since I. Well, I watched the f the first one and a half, I think. Recently. Recently, yeah. Uh, it, yeah, because I've. Other than that, it's been a couple of years. Obviously, I've seen the movies a shitload of times, but I've also, you know, I've read the books a couple of times. Yeah, I've never. I've only read, read the, the Silmarillion once, which is like you know basically the encyclopedia, which is. Uh -huh. They're not gonna. For everything I've heard, they're only going to be able to use stuff that was mentioned in the material, like in the movies. At least that's what I heard, but I could be wrong on that. But this takes place in the Second Age is where the movies are in the Third Age. Which is, you were saying, like thousands, thousands of years, of years yeah. or prior. And the, and the Second Age was thousands of years, so this is kind of condensed, I think, a lot of it. Which, again, some people complain about that, but I'm like, what do you want them to do, you know? Yeah. What yeah, you, I mean, we'll see. It's a TV show. We don't even know. We haven't even watched. Maybe maybe they crush it. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, why wouldn't... How could they not condense it? Like, oh, like yeah, all the to. events that happen, yeah. you know? Especially only it's going to be, what, 10 episodes? I don't know how many they're doing in this season, to be honest. Could be less. I think it's... I would imagine it's 8 to 10 because it's so expensive, this show. Mm. Um, but I don't know for sure. But what's nice is we have two episodes to watch. That is yeah. very surprising. Yeah, it'll be cool. Because then, like... Like, because you know, like the first one can sometimes be like slow and like you know, like so like now, now we get like the second one, which will will be able to better determine like what kind of show that's gonna be. I'm just happy to get back into like new material from that this world, you know. Yeah, it's gonna Middle be Middle cool. Earth, I should say. Middle Earth, right? Let's watch it. Let's do it. And there was a time when the world was so young there had not yet been a sunrise, but even then. There was light. Little Gladriel, I'm assuming. That's awesome. <laughs> Damn, I want to build something like that. How cool. <laughs> Jerks. Yep. Come along. Mother and father are waiting. Love the scenery already. Do elves stop aging at a certain point, or do they also get like really old? We had no word for death. I believe they don't. I believe they stop. For we thought our joys would be unending. Beautiful. So beautiful. Yeah, back then, at this age, they only had two trees that would light everything. There was no sun yet. Right. Morgoth destroyed the very light of our home. Yep. A place known as Middle Earth. Not the eagles. Said it would be over. <laughs> it's pure mayhem. But the war left Middle Earth in ruin. Now we learned many words for death. Jesus Christ. In the end, Morgoth would be defeated. But not before Morgoth was essentially like the devil. For his orcs had spread to every corner of Middle Damn orcs. The worst. They are the worst. <laughs> They're so disgusting. So. His most devoted servant. So a cruel wrong. and cunning sorcerer. They called him Sauron. Yeah, he was Morgoth's, like, My lieutenant. To seek him out and He's him. enormous. I didn't realize he was that big. But Sauron found him. The pain of those days, 
cast out of thought and mind. More and How more, cool more right? began to believe that Sodor was but a memory. And the threat at last was ended. I don't know if I'd do that, though. <laughs> That's a bit risque. You know she doesn't give a fuck. Well, of course not. There's nothing out here. We should have been there by now. You're saying? <laughs> oh boy. We are there. My hand is past feeling. No. This place is so evil, our torches give off no warmth. This way. Imagine. How can you be certain? It's colder than the rest. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Even stone cannot hide the mark. The one whose very hand is flame unquenched. <laughs> that was cool because it's like the same sound when they showed the eye. Sauron. And until we are certain, every trace of our enemy is vanquished, I can never return. That's why she doesn't return till the end of the movie. Return of the King. Oh my god. Troll? Jesus. Sneak up on him. Yep. Oh my god! That was wrong. Just threw a gigantic ice block. block. Oh, Lord. oh. I just love watching elves fight. Yeah. Oof. Jeez. Nice swordsmanship there. This has a very, like, movie-esque feel to it already, you know? Oh, yeah. I like the score so far, too. It sounds very Middle-earthy. I like it so far. So do I. I love this going on the map like this. What the? Got moose antlers. Gigantic moose antlers. <laughs> yeah, Harfoots, I think, are supposed to be like the original Little hobbits. hobbits, yeah. This looks all practical, cool. too. You know, it doesn't look like it's... They're using CGI for any of this, which I'm happy about. <laughs> they love their food. They're just always having the best time, too. Yeah, so happy. Just frolicking about. <laughs> Eating berries. Crag and crevice washing away the last remnants of our enemy. Like a spring rain over the bones of a... Pretty sure it's supposed to be Elrond. Dead. Harold Elrond. <laughs> at last. Look at that scenery. Like, imagine... <laughs> I, I would just sit on that tree, too. What tie you? Your friend has arrived. She is here. I just said so. <laughs> I hate when people say that. It's like, I did just say so. <laughs> Why didn't you leave with that? <laughs> right. Because then you would have left and I wouldn't have gotten to know the other thing that I needed. So. <laughs> this is cool to see Linden. We never get hunters up here before the harvest. Mm. Or wolves. Oof. Snails. Was that a snail? Yeah. Don't sell And what concern is that of yours, Eleanor Brandyfoot? Eleanor Brandyfoot. <laughs> nobody goes off trail and nobody walks alone. Very Hobbit-esque. We have each other. We're safe. 
What is the difference between them and hobbits? Nothing really. Because hobbits became more. Not nothing really. Or like organized. Yes, exactly. Civilized, I guess you would. Well, because they organize the Shire, you know, they settle it. As we're here, it seems like they're just out in the wilderness, you know, still. That looks just like her in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> that shot of her eyes. A measure of our gratitude. Gandalf's fireworks? Those are awesome. I wish fireworks were like that. Just like Gandalf's when they had the, remember yeah. when his when the dragon? That was so cool. Yeah, I'm surprised they haven't come up with something like that yet. You have fought long enough, Galadriel. Put up your sword. Without it, what am I to be? What you have always been. My friend. <laughs> what? Not gonna do it. Oh, no. She might already be gone. <laughs> Thrilling here, proves the last. With a row over a girl. His eye was lazy, hers overactive, if you take my meaning. Looks badass, this guy. For drink, Looks like he's an angry fella, though. <laughs> and the poisoning? Easy, lad. Quench the fire. <laughs> I would not fuck with that guy. No. This guy either. He was just swinging right away. <laughs> he swung immediately. <laughs> there was no hesitation. Uh -uh. Nor should there be. He swatted that cup right, right out of your head. Damn punk kids. Yeah. Yeah, it's very frowned upon for elves and humans to Man mingle. to mix. Yeah. Soldier. I think you talk too much. And you smell of rotten leaves. No, I don't. Yes, you do. That armor's kind of cool with the face on yeah. it. Yeah. But they're like made out of like leaves. Right? The armor? The point is this. Like shaped like leaves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Has a pairing between elves and humans even been attempted. Taking a last look. Hmm? 79 years I've been stationed here. 79 years. <laughs> I suppose I've grown accustomed to it. <laughs> he is a little scary looking. Yeah, right? Say what you wish to say. I have said it already. Why should have crazy? She wanted east a few days ago. Is that poison grass they're talking about? Him, boy. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What was that? Where's it out, stupid? How far east? Oh. Is it a Morgul blade? Remember the one that Frodo got stabbed with and then Aragorn had disappeared in his hand? Watch it! That's not good. Acquainted with the work of Lord Celebrimbor, <laughs> the greatest of Elven Smiths, of course. I've admired his artistry since I was a child. Why do you ask? He is about to embark on a new project, one of singular importance. Celebrimbor is the one who put decided that forged you the rings. Will be mm. working with him. I'm pretty sure. Like they're watching for something. Watching for what? <laughs> A ton glass, and if you don't mind your own cart wheels. What is it? What do you see up there? Eleanor Brandyfoot. With your father. <laughs> I love that name, you Eleanor Brandyfoot. Into trouble. You are far too curious and meddlesome to have been born a Harford. Are you quite certain you're not part squirrel? <laughs> <laughs> please. I want to see this guy in action. Yeah. Shit. That's not good. I'm 
trying to figure out how she's going to get out of this. I was just thinking the same thing. Magical birds. I love that they're all perfect. Oh boy. It's always an ominous sign. Hey, the ends. In you go. It's a long swim. Luckily, it's not rough seas, though. That's for sure. Seemed pretty smooth sailing. Oh, boy. That person? Yep. Don't do it! Damn it. Who do you think that is? I mean, the initial guess would be Sauron, but I feel like it can't be him. So I don't know who that would be. All I know is that Sauron does take a human form at one point. I just, I'm fuzzy on the details. Cause it's, it could be, because that could be why the, he was coming in in a comet. And it seemed like as soon as that comet came through, you know, the, the leaf changed and... Right. She was talking about the darkness and then so jumping So where do you off. think he was then? Do you know where he was? Well, all we know at this point is that he's... In hiding. In hiding, I know. But, like, if he's coming in on a comet... <laughs> if it is him, I don't know. I know. But if that is him, where would he be coming from? I don't know. Right. That's the thing. Like, I know a decent amount about, the, like, the lore and stuff... But there's just so much of it, it's impossible to remember a lot yeah. of the smaller details. Oh, no, I don't mean for you to remember. I'm like, where do you think? No, I don't know. I really don't. Yeah. Because I know, like, I'm trying to remember, because I know he takes human form at one point, but I don't, rem like, and that's what, when he does that, that's how he gets them to do. It's interesting that they brought up in this one about Celebrimbor making, having this secret project that he's working on, which I'm assuming he's talking about the rings, which would mean that Sauron already put his plan into play, like his secret. So that means, I don't know if that could mean that would not be him then. Well, he's been in hiding for, how long did she say? Centuries. Yeah, since the last time they let, they fled. So, his plan could be in play. Well, at, well I know, but I'm, what I'm saying is, like, if he's just coming back now in the comet, how is his plan already in, pl is in place? You know uh, what I mean? Yeah. Well, maybe that's just how he comes in. Did it all? Did it, does his plan all come out while he's in human form? Or what do you plan? To, I thought it, I'm pretty, it out this whole time. I don't know that part, but I yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty at least I thought that it, he right. he had already done it in human when he started it. Like he like kind of corrupted their minds to do it. But I don't know how the show's going to go with that. You know? I mean, we'll see. Like it has to be that somebody powerful. Like you saw, you see what it's like doing to the ground. Yeah, maybe it's like a. Maybe it's one of the wizards, maybe, arriving. Um, yeah, like maybe it could be one of the wizards, but I don't know. I don't remember when the wizards show up, to be honest. But again, like I said in the beginning, the second age is so big, like, and long, and they're going to condense a lot of things into the story, so it could be one of the You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, but, no, but first, for, like... I liked it. I really liked it. I thought it was really well done. Like, it, it looked so incredible. Far, it looked really great. It was just fun to see like these characters and these creatures again in this world. I loved what they did with the map, where they take you across the map yeah. like that. Yeah. The elves are the elves. Um, everything they do is just perfect. Right. I can't wait for it to like turn into like a, a lot, like heavy it, action. I said it during it, but it felt like a movie in that episode. You know. Yeah. Like the score was really long. good. You know, I know the uh, 
for the theme song was the guy Howard Shore who composed the music for the movies, which is one of my favorite soundtracks of all time in that yeah. movie. But uh, I know the composer for the whole show is uh, a guy named Bear, Bear McCreary. He did, he's done a bunch of stuff. Tons of stuff. Yeah, but he's done a bunch of stuff that I like too. So, and he I thoroughly enjoyed the score of this first episode. Yeah, me too. I really like the elves' weapons. They I know might, they're so cool. I was saying it, but I want to see because I'm pretty sure that, that the new character, I think his name's um, starts with an A. The one with the the human, the woman, it was like Arnor or something like that. I forget, um, but I'm pretty sure he's not. He's not from like he's the show made him up as a character. But I I, I like his look. I, yeah, I do like his look. He looks badass as hell. He looks really cool, and he, that story's gonna be interesting because. Her people are used to be loyal to Morgoth, who was like the original bad she guy. She didn't know that. No, I think she did, but why maybe... did she seem so so surprised when he said it? Because she was like, "Excuse me." Yeah, that's like, true. These are like my friends. She just doesn't believe it. Right. And her son is the one who pulled that blade out. Yeah, the Morgul blade, which is very cool to see. And where the hell did he get it from? Right. I would like to know that. So that's gonna be interesting because we already saw the kid at the bar. He doesn't like him. The elves. Obviously, and I'm sure he's not the only one. The son clearly doesn't either. Right. And, and the mom loves him, so. That's going to be. That's why I'm saying that storyline could be very interesting, even though it's not, like, based off Part of, of anything. anything. Yeah. I mean, there's stories in the books about, like, famous elves and humans that, like, commingled, and it was like they turned into these big stories, you know? So they might be playing off of that idea a little bit. Yeah. I but don't I don't know. The only, problem, the only problem that I have with him is, like,. He's got the face that, like, I don't know that he can ever smile. <laughs> well, it's, if he does, I think he's gonna look I don't, funny, like, because he seems so serious and like. Yeah, more so than like even like Legolas ever did, because right. Legolas it wouldn't really fully smile. He would just give you like a little smirk, right? You know, at the most that we saw. But I feel like that's how most of the elves that's are. That's how they are. Especially like him, like, and he said he's been there for what seventy nine years. Yeah, <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, because you think about it, so Galadriel. I believe grew up in Valinor, obviously, and then when she was younger, she came across to Middle Earth, and she's been there ever since. Right, as where I think Elrond was born in Middle Earth, and never has never been to most of the, a lot of these elves have never been there. That's why it's so like to, extra it, special. Have to never been to Valinor. Oh, like where they go after? Oh, you know? the ones that she was on the boat with. Yeah, that's where they were going. Um, which is interesting because I wonder why. I'm pretty sure in the books, like they they're able to travel back and forth. The elves, some elves can, but it doesn't seem like that's the case in the show. Like, because like why couldn't she just like, go and then come back? Retire. Well, yeah, that that is the case for any of the elves that go there, but some of them are able to. So I don't know. You know, we didn't see any Numenor. She's not ready to return until yeah. she's certain that all of her enemies cease to exist. Which I love because then you that makes more understandable why she doesn't leave in. Lord of the Rings. And Lord of the Rings. Yeah. yeah. And I don't mind that, like, because I'm sure a lot of people are going to complain about why, if she's a warrior in this show, why isn't she a warrior in... But she explains that in the movies. It's like, it's not her job to do this this time. Like, right. it's Frodo's job, you know? So, I don't mind that at all. But yeah. everything looks great. Because she could have been thousands of years of wars. She gets a break. Oh, she has. <laughs> Ever since she's been there for right, a long forever. time. Right, forever. She's been there for like she went and she's centuries. going back. Now she's going back again. Yeah. Right. So she's gonna be. Uh, but I think they're gonna take her a little more seriously this time, you know, because they're gonna like the king saw the the leaf, that comet showed up. There's a lot right. of things we don't. We have to find out who that was, if that was him or not. Um, but very interesting stuff. I like it so far. I really like it. Anyway, guys, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. See you next time. See you later.